This is how to make an anamorphic HD export. New file, export media, and I'm going to select H264, and I can start with the, the match, the default setting here. Not a big deal. I'm going to go over to source, and then I'm going to click this crop button, which puts a box around my, my frame, and then I'm going to change the top and bottom numbers from 0 to 132, and 132. And that will crop my video slightly. Now if I click over to output, you still see that I'm exporting at HD resolution. So if I hit export now, it would have these black bars baked into the video, and I don't want that. So I'm going to uncheck this box. I'm going to want to make sure that these two numbers are not linked. And then I'm going to change this number to 816. 816 is... 1080 minus 132 minus 132, which gives us 816 lines of resolution. So now we have our perfect aspect ratio. Now let's change a few other settings to make sure the quality is good. Render at maximum depth. These settings are good. Progressive NTSC 23.976. VBR 2 pass. Let's crank the maximum bit rate up to 30. Somewhere around there. And maximum render quality. And that's it. And then I'm going to save the preset here. I'm going to click this. I'm going to name this HD Anamorphic Export. And then I'm going to hit OK. Ta da! And now this setting is saved so that whenever you have an HD timeline, you can just spit out uh, a slightly lower resolution anamorphic video that will be accepted by YouTube and Vimeo. Hooray!